Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to another weekly vlog. I am heading out of the house right now to go get my eyebrows waxed, tinted, and my lashes lifted and tinted. So I have not had my eyebrows touched, waxed, plucked, anything in pretty much four years. So I haven't even been cleaning them up right now. This is what they look like. I had microblading done. Honestly, don't really recommend it, but yeah, this is where I am at. So let's head over to Blush Beauty Bar and... Excuse my pimple patches, since we're all wearing masks in public, I really don't give a shit anymore. But I just got my eyebrows done and my eyelashes lifted and tinted. She did wax a little bit, I'm irritated, but that's just because of me, I had no idea. She had no idea that would even happen. But they look amazing, obviously no makeup on. Can't wait to throw mascara on. Look at these bad boys. So I just left the mall. I have a photo shoot tomorrow with two of my friends and business partners. We have been planning this for months and it keeps getting pushed out. Still can't try anything on in Massachusetts. Fitting rooms are closed even though stores are open. So I just bought three different outfits and I'll return whatever I don't like. So let's go home right now and I'll try these on for you. So this first top, I honestly wanted as more of a beach cover up, but I think I should have gone with a medium or a large. It's just a little bit too like choky. I would want it a little bit more open. So this was on sale for $20, but I'm gonna be returning it. I just don't ever see me styling this. Next up is this white dress. I don't know how I feel about it. I don't love how this is tying. It just, I don't know, it makes it look cheap. I could probably try and throw it as a bow in the back to give me more of a figure, but definitely light, conservative, great for business photos and still standing out. And I'd probably just put a nude heel with it. So far, this is my favorite. I absolutely love the dark, darker nude and how it just kind of pulls out in this tweed skirt. So freaking cute. I think this would look great with really short sandals or with a higher pump because it is so conservative. Oh, I think this might be it, guys. Okay, so this is the last outfit. Typically, I'm an extra small or a zero at Express, but they only had this skirt in a two and it's too big. I would definitely like it to fit more like this, so to give me more of a shape, and unfortunately, it doesn't. It's really not the worst thing in the world, but I would like it to be tighter. I'm gonna go see what I have in my closet too. You can follow me on Instagram at Erin Heartbreak if you wanna see the final look, but this was just a mini express try on haul for you guys. Good morning. So things did not go, Kelly's freaking out in the background. So things did not go as planned yesterday. It ended up like storming and flooding in Newport. It was crazy. So we did not do the photo shoot. So right now I'm sitting outside of my best friend's house. Kelly's gonna be here for the day with her dog and I'm babysitting her kids. Is Kelly being good? She's eyeing your donut. Uh-oh. I have to put it right here. Okay. Do we both have scrunchies in? Let me see a scrunchie. There we go. Scrunch gang. Scrunch gang. Hey, what's up? Hello. It's so weird having makeup on during a vlog. It has been a while since you saw me dressed and ready. So my week has not gone to plan at all. The photo shoot ended up getting canceled, well rescheduled, which means the makeup application got rescheduled. And then my beach day yesterday got canceled. So it's it's been so much fun this week. It's been a hell of a week. So today I am going to get my nails done. So I'll probably do another neutral. 
Hey guys, I'm just leaving the nail salon. So freaking cute. I did something new this time. I don't really know what the name of it is. It's it's new. It's essentially a high-end press-on nail. So it's clear, it goes on with the gel, so there's no filing, there's no multiple layers of dip, and it's protecting my natural nail. So I'm hoping I love this even more than dip because it is supposed to last longer. And then I've done this nail design before, but I just wanted to do something like a little bit of color instead of my neutrals that I always do. So update for our Friday night plans just the theme of this week. Uh, we're not going to the brewery anymore. Their last pour is at 7.15 or last call is at 7.15. So by the time I get home and then drive to the brewery, I'll only be there for like 45 minutes. Ah! You like laying with daddy, mama? Look at her tail going. You a happy girl. Good morning. Last night was so much fun. We went out to dinner with another couple. And this morning I woke up to my food allergy test results. So very interesting. They gave me results for food items, environmental items, nutritional imbalances, metal imbalances, my digestive health, my butt, uh, my butt, my gut biome, hormones, like everything. So to my surprise, I have great gut health. There was nothing that popped up. Same thing with my hormone balance, which is blows my mind because I'm insane. So all that is good. I guess it's just foods that I need to really focus on. So some of the foods that popped up are like items that popped up that actually really surprised me. Blueberry, brown bread, celery, chicken. I eat chicken every day. Decaf coffee, corn syrup, which is in literally everything. So that's great. Fuji apples, halibut, mahi-mahi. I'm just going through watermelon. Literally have fresh cut watermelon sitting in my fridge. Wheat, whey protein. So those are some of the things that I have to eliminate immediately. They give you like a four week plan and then they do a follow up with you. Some other things that popped up that are above the 86%. So higher but might not be affecting me and affecting me could be bloating stomach issues like diarrhea skin irritations like acne or like bumps uh, headaches it could be anything like that so these i don't really need to worry about maybe like down the road but vodka venison brown sugar stout rose there's a lot more items on my like yellow chart that I eat frequently that I don't need to worry about eliminating, which is a good thing. Pigeon came up, I'm like who eats pigeon? Hello, just got home from date night. That's Jonathan in the background with Callie. It was uneventful. I just feel like if you're gonna spend like $50 on a piece of fish or like $60 on a steak, it needs to be really memorable. So what I'm doing right now, cause I'm bored as hell and everything is closed because of COVID. So we couldn't even go out to get a drink. I received this Irresistible Me package in the mail today. This is PR and it's hair extensions. This is what it came in. Here are all of the wefts. And then this was the sample color. So surprisingly, it matches. Look at that. This is not sponsored. Typically these companies reach out to me and I'm like, you can send me your stuff, but if it doesn't match and the quality is poor, I'm not talking about it, but I'm genuinely impressed. And this is real human hair, wild. So I'm gonna clip these in, some of them real quick. So this is one weft and this is actually super thick, like really thick, a lot thicker than I would ever expect. Normally the band isn't this thick either. 
I'm not mad about it at all. It just means the less wefts I have to put in. I'm not like teasing my hair or hairspraying it. I'm literally winging this. Damn, now I kind of wish I would have wore these out. Wow. Incredible. Okay, guys, I'm going to do a real video for you. A real one, like, not after a date night with a couple drinks. You know what I mean? Because this hair is cute. Hey guys, I have no idea where I stopped filming. I apologize. This vlog is just going to blend two weeks into one. So the last clip you probably saw of me was me coming home tipsy from date night, trying on hair extensions. So I got these in the mail. You already know I tried them on. They matched my color perfectly. So today is tonight is my photo shoot, my business photo shoot with two of my friends. So I'm going to throw these bad boys in. So I'm not going to wear all of them. They did come with One, two, three, four. looks like five or six wefts. So I'm going to put them in just to kind of thicken up my hair. They're actually the same length almost as my current hair. So it's just gonna thicken things up. Every time an extension or hair company sends me extensions, the quality is crap, they don't match. I get so frustrated, but you guys saw my honest, <laughs> my honest reaction trying these on. So incredible. God damn, that looks fucking that looks bomb. Sorry to swear. That looks bomb. It looks so good. So freaking cute. You killed it. Your eyes look so open. <laughs> so great. Your teeth look like so white. I know, they're yeah, like know. beaming. <laughs> so Patrick just left. This is the final look. I'm like literally blown away. Flawless. My teeth are like glowing. What? Is it weird to just like stare at myself because, oh, and just because the way that this vlog has been going, uh, one of the girls just said that she's not showing up to the photo shoot. So I literally got my makeup done, finished, and got that text message. So I just paid to get my makeup done for no reason. I think I'm gonna do a complete 360 and just pull some new outfits together, some more lifestyle outfits, and take photos for that instead of professional since our trio isn't happening anymore. Love that for me. Hello. So Jonathan and I just got back from him taking, oh my God, I'm sorry, this lighting is so bad. He took a couple pictures for me down at the park just so this makeup didn't go completely to waste. Obviously did not, I don't know, I feel like everything about this vlog and my week did not go to plan. So yeah, I'm gonna go eat some pizza, take my makeup off. So I will see you guys. I have a Zara haul that I need to film for you and I'm traveling to Ohio. So that'll be a lot of fun. So I will see you guys in my next video.